Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial today with the Leagues of Votan. And today specifically we are painting the Brock here, Iron Master. Yes. Sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up, paint up and review for all of you. And well, I'm excited to do him. Five models in one box for one character. It's pretty cool. So... He's been primed in grey seer, and we're going to be painting him in the colours of the Greater Syrian League. This is the box art colour scheme. And well, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the Brock here, Iron Master himself, and then we will work on his Iron Kin Assistant and three corves at the same time. Although many of the colours that we cover in the Brock here will be present on these four as well. So we won't go into these in as much detail, we'll pick up the individual points, but otherwise, yes, we're just going to mostly focus on the main man himself. So I'm going to put all of these to one side and grab up our Iron Master. And the first color we're going to be using is Black Legion. And we're going to be applying this over the top of his boots, his gun, and his motorcycle. He doesn't have a motorcycle. Now we're going to be applying this over his boots, his gun, his gloves and his skull cap. As well as his knee pads, which I'm doing just here, as you can see, which I haven't mentioned. So there's that fetching bit of piping. And whilst I'm painting in this Black Legion, let me tell you all about our sponsor, Serious Readers. Serious Readers. Enjoy daylight indoors with a serious light. Serious lights are designed as a tool to help you see detail and colour and to enjoy what you love doing without straining your eyes to see. Serious lights use daylight wavelength technology, which replicates the daylight spectrum as closely as possible, helping you to pick your colors accurately, and just as importantly, see what you're doing when you're using them. Serious Readers is a British company, and the Serious Lights range is built right here in the UK. You can select a number of different options, and if you use offer code WARHIPSTER at checkout, they'll throw in a free compact light with any purchase in the Serious Lights range. Find out more in the links below. So with that Black Legion all applied, we had a couple of extra details, such as this little gizmo here and this strap on the back. However, what we're going to do now is move on to our next colour, and that's going to be Pterodon Turquoise. We're going to use this to paint in his trousers and his shirt. So that pterodon turquoise all applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some gore grunt of fur and going to apply this over the top of, well, pretty much all of our remaining leather, except for the outside and inside of his coat. So with that gore grunt of fur applied to all of these areas, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some cycle brown and we're going to use this on the outside of the cloak. Cloak? It's a coat. Stop saying co cloak. Now one thing to watch out for here on the coat is that not all of it is coat. So we've got a little rag there. You don't want to be cyborg brown. As well as 
various little trinkets and things like those spanners. They're not really trinkets, they're helpful tools. So with that Saigor Brown applied to the coat, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade and we apply this to the inside of the cloak. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Briar Queen Chill I'm going to apply this over the top of the armour. And with that done, we're then going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this over the top of any of the kind of soft wraps. So we've got one just down here on this tool. We've got the hammer. We've got one on the gun as well. And there's one on the back here. No, there isn't. What we do have is we've got this cable. Like that. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Gilliman Flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of his face. So with that Gilliman flesh applied, we're then going to take some Basilicanum Grey. I'm going to apply this over his beard and moustache. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Soul Blight Grey. We're going to apply this over the top of that rag. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down lead belcher and we're going to apply this to, well, pretty much all of the remaining details. We are going to pick out some areas with a slightly different metallic, but for now it's fine to just get this lead belcher over every single thing that we haven't done already. So we're just going to take our time, we're going to make our way around the model, looking for anywhere that's... not been painted slash looks metallic. It's got areas such as this area on the gun. Well, all of these remaining areas on the gun. We've got the various little buttons and things. We've got his watches. Got his hammer, got his headset. And got all the little tools and buckles and things like that as well. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Rune Lord Brass and we're gonna apply this over the top of this little kind of medallion just here. We're gonna apply this over the top of the magazine on the grav gun. And we're also gonna apply this over the top of this kind of circular bit here, just ignoring the kind of vented section in the middle. So 
So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on our Brockier Iron Master. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some shades. Now the first one we're going to add is Null Oil. I'm going to be applying this over the top of all of the silver. With all of that null oil applied, we're then going to take some Gilliman flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of the Rude Lord brass. And with that done, we're then going to take some Cassandora yellow. I'm just going to apply this over the top of our little light. Just there. So with that done, our Brockier Iron Master is now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. However, because he is the Great Ethereum League, I'm going to do a couple of things to make him actually battle already. Although you could just leave it there if you wanted to. However, the first thing we're going to do, well, the only thing we're going to do to take him to a sort of battle battle ready is to take some deep kin flesh. I'm going to use this to relayer all of the armor. Just avoiding where the Briar Queen chill has settled in all the recesses. So with that done, it is now time to add some highlights. And the first one we're gonna add is Cyberite Green. I'm going to be using this to highlight turquoise clothes. So with that Cyberite Green applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Deathclaw Brown. I'm going to use this to highlight our gore grunt of fur leather. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down dawn stone. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the black details. So with all of that Dawnstone applied, what we're then going to do is going to take some Administratum Grey and we're going to use this as a little spot highlight on the black details by just picking out the corners. But what we're also going to do is we're going to use this to highlight his eyebrows, his moustache and his beard. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Blood Reaver Flesh and we're going to use this to highlight the dark leather on the cloak. It's a coat. And with that done, we're then going to take some Night Quester Flesh and we're going to apply this to the sharpest points on the coat.
So with that coat all finished, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some flayed one flesh and we're gonna use this to highlight the face. Just picking out areas such as the nose, the cheekbones, Just like that. So with that flayed one flesh applied, we're then gonna take a tiny amount of black legion. We're gonna apply this over the top of the eyeballs. Like that. And so with that done, we're then gonna take a teeny tiny dot of Screaming Skull. I'm gonna apply this in the corners of his eyes. So with that face all complete, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna work on the inside of his coat. And the color we're gonna use is a roughly two parts pallid witch flesh to one part rakar flesh mix. And what we're gonna do here is we're essentially just going to relay this over the top of the inside of the cloak, just to make it look nice and bright. Just like that sort of thing. You might take two layers. So we're working with very bright paint. So with that now done, it is time to highlight all of our silver and the color we're gonna be using to do this first is Iron Breaker. So with that done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Tesseract Glow and on the gun, we're gonna add this over the top of the little kind of gaps and recesses. So with that done, we're then gonna take some Stormhost Silver. We're just gonna apply this to the sharpest points on all our silver details, as well as any lenses. Just like this. So with that Stormhost Silver applied, we're then gonna take some Canoptech Alloy. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our Rune Lord brassy areas. And so with that done, just to finish him off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're gonna apply this over the top of all of the gems and lenses. Just like this.
So with that done, the Iron Master is now finished. And I think he looks pretty fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop him to one side. And we're gonna start working on the Iron Kin Assistant and the cords. So the first color we're gonna be using is Pterodon Turquoise. And we're gonna be applying this all over the top of the Corv's body armor and the Iron Kin Assistant's leg armor. So I'm gonna grab that Pterodon Turquoise on our brush. And then we're just gonna pick a place to start. And I'm gonna start just here on this arm. I'm gonna apply that Pterodon Turquoise all over. So with that Pterodon Turquoise applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Gore Grunter fur. I'm going to use this over the top of any leather details that they have, except for the Iron Kin Assistant's apron. That is going to be a different brown. So we're just going to take that Gore Grunter fur, we're going to start applying this all over. So with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Saigor Brown and we're going to use this on the apron. And with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this over the top of any grips on any of their equipment. As well as any smooth cables. So nothing with any ribbing. So we've got some smooth cables right here. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earth Shade and we're going to apply this over the top of the rope. As well as this little pouch back here. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Briar Queen Chill I'm going to apply this all over the top of the Iron Kin Assistant's armour. So with that Briar Queen chill applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this to, well, just a couple of different areas. So for example, on this corv, we're going to pick out these little tubes. Put one there and one there. Like that. Around here and grab the back of it, like so. And on the Iron Kin Assistant, we're going to use this to paint in the gloves. And the kind of. Is it a gun? I think it's a gun. Don't know. We're going to be painting it black. And so with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors. We're going to apply this to all of our remaining details, excluding the domed heads.
So with that done, we're now gonna take some thin down Rune Lord brass and we're gonna apply this over the top of the dome heads. So with that Rune Lord brass applied, all of our base coats are now on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some shades and these are exactly the same as they were on the Iron Master itself. So we're gonna be using Null Oil first and foremost and applying that over the top of all the silver. And with that done, we're then gonna take some Gilliman Flesh. I'm gonna use this to shade the domes. So with that done, the Iron Master's gang is all at what I would call a war hipster battle ready. Now, all of the highlights are exactly the same as they were on the Iron Master, so we're not going to film all of them. But what we are going to do is we are going to just take this guy to the next level, or at least start his process of going to the next level by adding that deep kin flesh over the top of his armor. But otherwise, all of the highlights are going to be exactly the same. So I'm still gonna use Iron Breaker on all of the silver. I'm still gonna use some Canoptic Alloy on the, on the dome. I'm still gonna use Cyberite Green on the Pterodon Turquoise and so on and so forth. So you wanna find out what those highlights are or at least remind yourself of them and go back in the video and see what we were doing on the Iron Master. Because otherwise, this video will be very, very long. And so with our highlights and our bases complete across all five of the miniatures, our Brock here Iron Master and his hype crew are now finished. And well, they're set to terrorize the battlefields of the 41st millennium, so it's only fitting that they get an absolutely fantastic paint job, as, well, I believe I have done in my opinion on these guys. I think they look fantastic. It's also just a really cool little unit. There's lots and lots of character in here, which is always really nice, and a lot of fun to do as a painter. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.